Hey folks, I'm standing in front of number three, Grandview Drive. You can see the name of the street on the sign. Just down there are some gorgeous mansions right on the lake. Can't really zoom in, I don't know why. But anyway, um, that's the lakefront trail right there. And then if you just turn right, there's the beach. And gorgeous views of the sunset from there as well. Okay, and just a couple of steps over from there is the house. It's the second one on the left. Now, it's $950 a month plus hydro. You do not have to pay gas and you do not have to pay for water. But the location is really, really nice. It's a quiet area. And for $950 a month plus only electricity, uh, I think that's an absolutely incredible deal for this two bedroom apartment. Um, you get the main floor of the house. The second floor is rented out to a really nice quiet man probably in his late 80s. Uh, he's been here for like 15 years. Apparently, he's the best tenant they've ever had. So, here we are out front of the house. I'm gonna show you the parking area, the patio, and the yard. Okay, so this is the front of the house. There's the front porch. It's starting to rain, so I hope I can speed it up. But this is the nice, quiet street. And if you look it up on the map, three grand view, you'll see a nice location in its proximity to the lake. The city buses go right down there if you need them. Otherwise, there's lots of parking. This is the man's car who lives upstairs, so if you need the driveway, that's fine because it's extra wide, so you could easily park right here so he could still get out. But there's all overnight free parking on the road, and there's no bylaws or anything against that, so that's fine. Now, if I go to the back patio, you'll see there's a nice little deck. It's fenced in, got a patio, nice flowers, fully fenced all the way around. This garage is the landlord's, she uses it for the storage, so you can't get in there, but that's fine. Okay, it's a little tool shed, look at all the grass, it's absolutely outstanding, big trees, really nice quiet location. There's your back patio off of your apartment there, see that? And there's a door just to the right. Let's get inside because my $1,500 camera is getting rained on and I'm not too thrilled about that. So, heading up to the front porch now. Running. Okay, here we are. Now, I mean, you don't have to have your garbage pails there. You could always put them out by the side of the house, but because if it were me, I'd have my patio furniture out here. This would be a beautiful place to sit. Gorgeous antique light above the patio here, screen door as well. There is no air conditioning, so if you want AC, you're going to need a window unit or something like that, but I don't think you're going to need AC for another six to seven months from now. Anyways, nice new floors coming in. This is the covered front porch area, sort of like a little mud room or could be used as a cool little home office kind of thing, which would be actually really nice to work in with all the snow falling outside the windows, nice and cozy inside. Okay. Here we come into the actual apartment. Now, because this is a traditional living room, there are there is no ceiling light, so you'd have to use lamps and things like that. But that's fine because most living rooms don't. Anyways, but beautiful antique style trim. These are hardwood floors that have just been refinished, restained, nice and dark. And this is an HD camera, so you're getting the real feel for the place here and the size and everything. Okay. Nice curtains, nice blinds on all the windows too. It is forced air and it's central, sorry, forced furnace, forced air gas furnace, but the landlord pays for that anyway. Coming into the bedroom number one of two. If you don't like the color, no big deal. But again, nice updated windows, nice curtains, nice tall ceilings in here too. Okay, nice antique style trim. And there's a little closet behind your bedroom door there. Okay. And we're gonna go into the kitchen area. Give you a good view. All nice laminate floors in here. OK, 
Okay. This is bedroom number two. Okay, it does have light, but I'm just not a fan of those cold light bulbs. You can just put a nicer colored light bulb in there if you want. Beautiful brand new flooring in here as well, as you can see. Nice mirror closet doors. Nice curtains on the new window. That's the room. There's a little shelf, I guess, for a TV. Now coming out of the bedroom to your left, this is the bathroom. It's been recently updated. Nice big walk-in shower. Okay, there's your fan for exhaust. A beautiful big shower with a little seat in it. Your toilet. Beautiful brand new vanity with tile backsplash. Okay. Nice mirror with storage inside. New light fixtures and paint. Now coming out of the beautiful bathroom. This door here just goes to the basement which is more of a crawl space. You can use it for lots and lots of storage if you want. But it's not anything worth showing you because it's not livable. Now coming into this cute little laundry room here could also be used as a mud room for when you come home from work, hang your clothes up on some hooks or something over there, whatever. It hasn't been fully painted. They just painted the ceilings. This isn't done yet, but we can have that addressed for you if you like. You notice the white from the trim just being done on the ceiling, but that's not a big deal. This goes out to that deck on the backyard I showed you in the back patio, which is really nice. Okay. And the best part is your laundry. Brand new laundry facility. Okay, all inclusive. And again, uh, you're not paying the water, so you're only paying for the electricity. Lots of windows in here too. You notice how all the windows are there? I've got the blinds closed, but if they were open, it'd be really nice and bright in here. Plus it's raining outside, which doesn't help. Nice new light fixtures, nice flooring in here too. It's a big open concept kind of kitchen. What I think you would want is like a big eat-in kind of eat-in kitchen table in here as your dining room. Okay, a big galley for setting up your uh, snacks and foods, a buffet if you will. You got your stove, hood range, your uppers, all are nice and clean. Double basin sink with tile backsplash dishwasher and that's just a little closet for your brooms and mops and things like that but looking at it from this angle okay and you can see it's got your little hose and small sink big sink lots of counter space okay now looking at it that way you can see how much room you have easily for dining table over there or right in the middle of the room or whatever